This is our new ladder, the Extend and Climb 785P. And it's a good thing it's here, because we received our Weingard motor turret back. They actually sent me a new one. This is for the Traveler SK-1000 satellite dish. I was a little worried about how I was going to get it up to the roof of the coach. That's a pretty heavy unit. It's about 40 pounds or so, and uh, I was able to maneuver it with just one arm and clambered up the ladder. Lorraine had uh, gone up uh, ahead of me just to give me a bit of uh, help as I brought it over the roof line, and we got it on there without uh, any trouble at all. You see the dish in the arm in the distance there. Uh, I'm just coming up now with a few additional items, bolts, and the instruction manual that had uh, originally been sent to me by Weingard for disassembling the unit. They didn't send me anything about reassembling it, so I assumed I would just follow the disassembly process in reverse. So there's the motor turret right there. Nice view from the roof of our coach. Uh, we're at Desert Shores uh, Motor Coach Resort in Indio, California. I had a few things to do to get uh, ready to remount the motor turret. We had uh, secured the mounting bracket uh, with the original bolts and... Uh, and then we had used duct tape to secure the cables. And uh, it was pretty straightforward. The tricky part was reconnecting the power cable. Uh, Weingard doesn't have any indicator as to which way is which with the power cable, but it's actually not, not too bad. And then I reconnected all of the rest of the cables. And the big issue was getting this arm into a position where I could remount the uh, dish and uh, extended arm. So apparently what you have to do is you have to go back down to the interface box, uh, press power as if it's going to start the whole process, and then at a certain point, press power and select simultaneously, and it will stop, and it did. So that allowed me to secure the uh, balance of the uh, dish itself, which you can see here in the screen is, uh, is now complete. So I went back down to the interface box and started testing. And the unit certainly went through all of its uh, activities, you know, the searching, and it found a bunch of satellites. Unfortunately, because we're in California, uh, it doesn't find the default satellite, so I have to manually tune it uh, to 61.5, and I may try that, but really for me it was just making sure that the dish was functional again, and it is. And this is where it uh, stows itself, so everything was working fine and a successful install. Took us about, well, maybe two hours to get this task done. 